how the offense fared today? Yeah, I think we started out uh, super hot. I think we, we scored really quickly on the first two drives. And then kind of in the middle, we had some, some you know, delay games, a couple couple things we'd like to clean up. But overall, I mean, I think it was a good day. I mean, you know, going going into today's scrimmage, I wanted to score in every possession, and we didn't do that. So that's something that will be a focus. And uh, But overall, I think it was a good day. Encouraging that you guys were able to run the football, especially given you have no active scholarship running back. For sure, yeah. I think I think our offense line's done a great job this spring. Uh, we got a lot of new guys, and I'm really excited about them. And in band day, he ran the ball a lot, so he did a great job with that too. So just everything with the offense line and band day, they did a great job running the ball. Jack, for, for the defense, what were kind of your you know, goals today and, and how did you feel you accomplished them? Yeah, um, started out a little slow, but you know started picking it up and started giving a little bit of a rhythm. And um, you know we went we went into this focus on you know. They can't score any points, and um, you know we fell short on that today. But uh, tackled good, and we're having a big emphasis on you know tackling with a lower pad level, and um, you know I think that showed up. And uh, I think our our corners, we got a lot of new corners, and they played a lot, uh, played really good, and took away the fade ball. So I was I was happy with how everyone played. How much has this spring for you guys, with it being such a veteran group, been more about kind of fine tuning and refining things, uh, you know, as opposed to like last year? Right, yeah, it's huge. Just the difference, I know, for me personally, between this year and last year, I didn't really know what was going on last year. And, you know, this year it's just if you do mess up, you know right away what you're supposed to do. And it's just fine-tuning things, where to fit, and, um, you know, just little things, practicing better technique. And it's nice not having to worry about what you're doing instead of how you're doing it. Kind of off of that, you said at the beginning of the spring one of the things you were focusing on is not just understanding what the secondary is doing, mm -hmm. but really where everybody on the field is. Right. Do you feel like you've kind of accomplished that, like just knowing exactly where everybody's going to be? Yeah, I think I think I've definitely improved a lot. You know, uh, all credit to Coach Banks right there, and you know, pushing me in that aspect. But um, you know, I think I still have a little bit of work on um, you know what the D line's doing and some of the stunts that they're running. But you know, um, really improved on understanding what where the backers are fitting, and that's helped me a lot. And um, you know, what to communicate communicate to the corners and uh, the other safety. How different does the offense feel where it is, you know, this time compared to after this game last year? Yeah, I think it's a lot different. I think we're, you know, we're moving the ball a lot quicker. I think we're, we're snapping plays quicker. We're doing a lot more tempo stuff, which is really good for our offense. I think there's way more of a comfort this year, you know. I think especially last year during the summer, you know, we had all freshman wide receivers out there. I mean, I was a young guy trying to figure some things out, and I feel like there's just a way more of a comfort. You know, there's a core to the offense now, and I – I feel way more comfortable back there, and um, you know I think that today there was there was one or two sacks, which has been a big emphasis, and I think that I've got to get the ball out quicker with that. But you know we've had two scrimmages where we've been been going against the one defense, and we've only had one sack during those scrimmages, so that's been really good. But I think the biggest emphasis still coming the summer will be continue to just not have any negative plays and avoid sacks, which is on me. So just got to get the ball out quick, and that'll be something we just got to keep on focusing on. <laughs> Happy when Torgy's you know back full go, but mm -hmm. in a way, has it been useful of you know just further, um, I guess, increasing you know reps with guys like Justice and LB and Dow and you know Vince, some of those guys. Yeah, I think obviously Tory being out is disappointing, but I think that at the end, at the end of the day, it's been kind of good for me to get a chance to go throw to guys like LB, Justice, and Dallin, and it really gives me a chance all spring to get really comfortable with them because I know as soon as Tory gets back in, you know, we'll click, we'll click instantly again. Um, so this this just gave me a great chance to get a feel for all my other guys, see what they can do. Um, they're all playmakers and get comfortable with them. So I think it's been a great spring just to get to throw to them and get really comfortable with them. <laughs> How big it's been to have some continuity in just those same five guys for you know, more than a week at a time. Yeah, I think there's kind of a different mentality with our offense line. I think they're they're trying to they're showing a lot of pride with the offense line. You know, I think that they're Jacobs now at center now. You know, he's the leader of that group and he's he's just a great guy to have at your center that can go point things out. He's smart, he's a great player. Um, so I think there's a whole just different mentality, you know, with the offensive line. They're really prideful about moving the football. They want to score, and we don't score. You know, they're upset about that, which which is a good thing because we as an offense, and it starts with me. And I didn't score nearly enough points last year. And if, if we come off the field and we didn't score, we should be disappointed about that and and not act like that's normal. So I think there's just a whole different mindset, and we got a lot of great guys at our, at our offensive line. Some good speed, and then you got some blocks from teammates, and then some patience as you've been on the run there a lot. 
Yeah, Justice is really a guy that's matured, and he really understands the offense, and he's just a guy that makes plays. You know, he's he was a true freshman last year that played last year, and now he'll be a full year older, so he's going to be a lot better. Um, I'm really excited about him. He's a guy that I feel like every single time I see man coverage, I feel really comfortable throwing it up to him. Same with LB, and so uh, both those guys, true freshmen last year, they'll be sophomores now, and they're going to be a lot better, and they've, they've had a great sp spring, so I'm really excited about them. Yeah, he's a guy, too, like both of them. Anytime I see man, I'm just thinking fade them right away. Um, so I trust them on any route, and I feel like they can go beat anyone in man coverage against them. And uh, they're big, their targets that they got, they're, they're rangy, so I can put the ball in a lot of places, and they'll go make a play. And just, Jack, from your perspective defensively, mm -hmm. what kind of progress have you seen from the offense? Has it been more challenging trying to stop them now than, you know, maybe at the end of last season? Yeah, 100%. I feel like last year, you know, it's kind of just Tory, and you know, we take down Tory, and, and we're good. But um, J. Ross and LB have, you know, definitely came on as a huge threat. So taking away them, and then Dallin has been an awesome addition to the offense. And I know personally, I have to guard him a lot, and you know, that's not easy. He gives me glimpses of Trey. So, um, you know, and then our backup tight ends, Jordan and um, Vance, have been been a great addition as well. I imagine that's going to be nice for you, just being able to attack the middle of the field again. Yeah, for sure. I think there's a lot of trust that, and uh, we've emphasized that too. So we put a lot of work into it, and um, I feel really comfortable with our tight ends. And I think that this year, if teams want to play split coverage, you know, we're gonna have those tight ends going down the middle, and they'll be great targets to have. Well, thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. Yeah. Uh.